Hi everyone, it's November 2nd, 2008. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. And, you know, you got two days before the polls are there, before it's voting day. Yes, I'm fully aware that there's absentee b- balloting and the early voting and all of that. November 4th is still the regular day, so that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to bore you to tears on it, folks, but vote, vote, vote. Get out there. There are certain people, I won't mention them right now, who, you know, have frankly admitted that the worst thing that could happen is a lot of people turn out to vote because, oh my, their candidate might lose by an even bigger margin. Uh, We know who I'm talking about there. McPain. I mean McCain and Palin. Uh, Yeah, McPain. Because, trust me on this one, if they get in, we're going to have a lot of pain. Look, it's really simple. It's a choice, this election, between hope and fear. Personally, I prefer hope. I've said before, I stand by it. They're the two sides of the same coin but let's go with the hope side just for a little while we've had the fear side now and what has it got us bankrupted us financially militarily we're spread so thin we couldn't defend a piece of paper really but we're mounting a hell of an offense against who why run this by me again we're after some guy in a cave in, well, it's either Afghanistan, Pakistan, Syria, Iraq, somewhere. God only knows. But we'll just bomb the hell out of everybody. Or we could go with the guy who says, hey, enough is more than plenty. Let's talk about exiting, getting our kids home, getting your kids home getting your husbands, your wives home. Let's have the National Guard guard our nation for a while instead of somebody else's. And the Blackwater guys can, well, they can stay there. We really don't need hired thugs of that caliber here. Because I've said it before, I said it in my book, if you're not wearing the uniform of our military and you've not taken the oath to protect this country, you're just a hired thug, a mercenary, and we know what happens to them at the end. Oh, yeah. They make a lot of coin, but they're the first ones to get cashiered. And then what happens? Oh, they go start trouble somewhere else. Let's try to avoid this for a while. Let's increase military pay, get the right body armor, up armor the vehicles. All the stuff that could have been done with that money. The This schmuck, this real schmuck, is not a dumb one. But what the heck? Pallet loads of 20 and $100 bills. Pallet loads, folks, shrink-wrapped. And I have seen the photographs. Disappeared. No accounting. These are conservatives. That's what we've been told. Oh, they're against welfare if it's for us. And they're for it if it's for Wall Street and the banks. Exactly how does that make any sense? Come on, draw me a coherent picture. Not something that looks like Salvador Dali was tripping. Come on, guys. Be real here. And again, for you Californians, please, for the love of God and everybody, vote no on Proposition 8. Equal rights mean equal rights. It is not the state's business other than to license and decree divorce. It's not anybody's business who gets married to who other than the two getting married. Yep, it's another short one. Sorry about that, but, you know, hey. I'm going to leave you all today with this thought. Two days from now, we get a chance that a lot of people died 
fought and died to give us. Let's use it. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's today's Schmuck Look. Peace.